Verify the pump is in the epidural intermittent mode. From the startup screen, select no infusion. Using the keypad, enter the VTBI value, then press OK. Using the keypad, enter the intermittent dose, then press OK. Using the keypad, enter the dose interval, then press OK. Using the keypad, enter the continuous rate, and then press OK. Note, the continuous rate may be set to zero. Review the parameters displayed on the confirmation screen. From the start screen, select Add PCEA. Using the keypad, enter the value for the demand bolus and press OK. Using the keypad, enter the value for the bolus lockout, then press OK. From the dose limit type screen, specify whether the effusion is going to be according to dose limits and press yes to apply or no to program without dose limits. From the dose limit type screen, select the appropriate dose limit type. Number of boluses limits the maximum number of boluses. Total dose defines the maximum amount of medication that may be delivered within a one or four hour period. After the dose limit type is selected, Using the keypad, enter the number of boluses or maximum dose and press OK. Review the parameters displayed on the confirmation screen and then press OK. To begin an infusion, make sure that all clamps on the administration set and any other connected devices are open and press Start. The intermittent dose screen is displayed and the infusion begins with the first dose.